Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we connect a Django Python project to an MySQL database. And this specific MySQL database is going to be run from a Docker container. So I'll first showcase how we can set up this MySQL in a Docker container. We're then going to start this container. We're then going to showcase how we connected it to Django. And I'm then simply going to run some migration script from Django just to showcase that Django is then setting up all this basic authentication it's using inside my newly created MySQL database. And we thereby have a connection. I will then furthermore build a connection and build some kinder setup for whatever we want to do with our database. So I'm just going to showcase the basic connection. So first I have my basic Django project. I just created it using the Django initialization command. We have some settings which is going to be used to connect our database shortly. But first it makes to showcase the Docker setup. So I am using a Docker file and Docker Compose. So first, just quick look at our Docker file. Just very simply, we're running it from a MySQL, just a specific version. I'm setting up a root password for my SQL, MySQL database. I'm then copying a data.sql file, just in this case, to create a very simple database called my database. I'm then going to be using this database. And I'm not manually going to be creating any tables, but in this case, we're just going to showcase that MySQL connects with Django and we set up all the Django security setup things. And then to run our Docker file and expose our port, I have a Docker post YAML file where I have a service, a database, it's building from current position. So it's going to be building my Docker compose on my Docker file. And we're simply going to be exposing from port 3306 inside our container to 3306 outside our container. I now have Docker running in the background. And let me just showcase. So I'll open a new terminal. I will do Docker. Let's just do Docker container just to showcase nothing's running. So we have nothing running. I will then simply do Docker compose and node inside our MySQL folder. Otherwise, it's not going to be working because inside here we have our Docker compose file and our Docker file. So I'll just simply first build my Docker compose file. So do Docker compose build. It's then going to set up everything and build the basic structure. And whenever we're done building, I'm then going to be starting my Docker compose file, which is then going to be starting my Docker file. And we're then going to end up having a running Docker container containing my database and exposing a database connection on port 3306. So we know build our Docker Compose file. I would now do Docker Compose pop to start it. And it might take a few seconds. And then in the meantime, when we are starting our database, let's actually have a look at how we connect Django to this database. So inside settings.py, under the newly created project, we need to scroll down a bit and we need to find the section called databases. And I then replaced all information in databases with this connection to this MySQL setup. And now we can see actually our database has been set up. So we now have a database ready for connection on port 3306. So I'm just going to close this panel, not the terminal. It's still going to be open in the background, but just close it for now. Just to go through inside our settings.py, inside our Django project, we set a default database. We define that the engine is going to be Django DB backends MySQL. And one thing to note, you might need to run pip install my SQL client first before doing this, because it's some extra setup we need. So if you haven't installed my SQL client already in using pip, you might need to do this. It's going to prompt you or give you an error if it isn't installed yet. But otherwise, we're using Django DB backends MySQL. The name of our database as created in our data SQL file. It's going to be my database. The user is going to be root. The password is going to be pass as we defined inside our Docker file. We then have the host, which is going to be localhost. And our port, as we expose, is going to be 3306. And I then thought it was a decent idea doing this that we simply set a strict trend table mode, which simply just means if we're trying to input where not all the data is complete, it's just going to fill in with the most likely information. We have our engine, we define our database, we define our user with a password, local host, and a port number. We can then now in a new terminal. So note we have multiple terminals. We have one terminal 
containing our Docker Compose setup running our container. Let's just have one terminal here where we first check now. As we did before, we can do Docker container ls to see all the running Docker containers. And we now see we now have one running Docker container, MySQL database, and it's going to be exposing from the port inside the Docker container 3306 to localhost 3306. And we would then actually like to see if it is working. So I would copy my container ID. I can then do the Docker ID. So now we're going to be Docker execute interact mode inside this container. And we're going to be using bin slash bash to get a running terminal from this Docker container. As you can see here, bash. I can now showcase that we're actually now inside this Linux environment running our Docker container or inside our Linux environment inside our Docker container where we have our SQL server running as well. So then actually access the information of our MySQL database. I would do MySQL dash P for password. I'm going to input pass as my password as we set up inside our Docker file. And I'm then going to use dash U for user and it's going to be root. And we're going to be told it's not a problem way of doing commands in terminal, I think, and blah, blah, blah. It's just a basic setup. So we now have MySQL instance. I can then show databases. And we can see we have all the basic MySQL stuff, but we also have the new database we created called My Database. I would then choose My Database. And I would then show tables. And it's going to be empty. I will then go into a new PowerShell or any terminal. And now from the main structure of our Django project, I've run Python, then my manage.py file, and then call migrate. And this migrate file is then going to either you could have some models defining some tables we want to create in our database. Or for this case, it's just going to be running a basic migration. As you can see here, we have no errors, and it's going to be running some basic user authentication setup, as mentioned, which is a part of basic Django. So we now migrated all our basic like admin authentication, content type sessions, and so on to our database. So we should now be able to go back into our Docker container containing our MySQL database. And I will then again do show tables. And we can now see that we have like auth group group permissions, user, user groups, and so on. And we hereby have shown that our migration setup from our Django project connected to our MySQL database inside our Docker container, and in this case, migrated some basic authentication setup. We could have also added, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but if we added another Python file called, I think it's like models or something, it would then also create tables for these models and we can then thereby use Django to indirectly set up our database structure and we can then simply add and get data from our database using Django. So I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can use Django and MySQL. And I will just push this entire project to GitHub where I'll leave a link in the description so you can have a look at it yourself if you want to see exactly my database structure in my, my setting or my um, Docker setup in my Docker Compose and Docker file. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.